What's up, everybody? No Kids back here for my reactions to the Critics' Choice Award nominations. I think this is the more legitimized brand, the more important group of voting bodies compared to SAG and the Oscars. The, the, those are above them all. It's actors, and in the SAGs, it's actors giving the awards. It's actors voting, and they know what they're doing. This, it's critics, and I'm a critic myself, so let's get right into it. Best score. Uh, Nicholas Patel for Don't Look Up, Johnny Greenwood for both The Power of the Dog and Spencer, Nathan Johnson for Nightmare Alley, a little bit of love for Nightmare Alley, no love for Nightmare Alley at, at the Golden Globes, and I don't think it's going to get a whole lot of love at the Oscars either, and Hans Zimmer for Dune, it's going to Dune, it's going to Dune, P people love Dune, I did not see Dune yet, best song, uh, we have No Time to Die, for No Time to Die, Just Look Up for Don't Look Up, that's Ariana Grande, Guns Go Bang for The Harder They Fall. I'm not even going to try and say that dos one yet, because I have not seen Encanto yet. Uh, for Encanto, Be Alive for King Richard, uh, Foreign Language Film, A Hero Drive My Car, Flee, The Hand of God, and The Worst Person in the World, No Surprises There, No Surprises for Best Anime Feature, Encanto, Flee, Luca, The Mitchells vs. The Machines, and Ryan the Last Dragon, Best Comedy, this is something that they do that I really enjoy, Barb and Star go to Vista Del Mar, Don't Look Up, Free Guy, The French Dispatch, and Licorice Pizza. Best Visual Effects, Shang-Chi, The Legend of the Ten Rings, No Time to Die, Nightmare Alley, The, the Matrix Resurrections. That was a shock to me. Cause Dune, and, and Dune, because I didn't think anybody saw The Matrix yet. They have, I don't think the uh, review embargo lifts until probably next week sometime. Uh, best Hair and Makeup, Cruella, Dune, The Eyes of Tammy Faye, House of Gucci, Nightmare Alley, no surprises there. Spencer is out of the running for that one. I think Spencer is out. Uh, I believe it's. I believe it should go to Cruella or House of Gucci, but we're just going to have to wait and see how I feel after I see a couple more of the movies. Uh, best Costume Design. Cruella, Nightmare Alley, West Side Story, Dune, House of Gucci. No surprise there. I think the only thing that I would have changed is maybe take Nightmare Alley out and put in Spencer. Uh, but that's besides the point. Best editing, Dune, The Power of the Dog, Licorice Pizza, Belfast, West Side Story. Production design, Dune, West Side Story, The French Dispatch, Nightmare Alley, Belfast. Cinematography, Belfast, The Power of the Dog, Nightmare Alley, West Side Story, Dune, The Tragedy of Macbeth. Best adapted screenplay, Dune, West Side Story, Code of the Lost Star, The Power of the Dog. Original screenplay, Being the Ricardos, Don't Look Up, Belfast, King Richard, Licorice Pizza. Best Director. No surprises here. De Denis Villeneuve for Dune. Steven Spielberg for West Side Story. Guillermo del Toro for Nightmare Alley. I don't know if that's going to get any Oscar love. Uh, we also have Jane Campion for uh, The Power of the Dog. Kenneth Branagh for Belfast. Paul Thomas Anderson for Licorice Pizza. I loved his last film, Phantom Thread. Loved that movie to death. Uh, best Acting Ensemble. West Side Story, The Power of the Dog, Licorice Pizza, The Heart of They Fall, Don't Look Up, Belfast. Best Young Actor, Actress. They're giving a little bit of leeway here, I think, with Cooper Hoffman. And Amelia Jones and Ra Ra Rachel Zegler. They're right at the age where they can still be considered a young actor, but let's be honest, it's going to Jude Hill for Belfast. Uh, we also have Woody Norman for 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 Come On Come On. Uh, I'm not even going to try to say that name. I am so sorry. Uh, Sydney for King Richard. Uh, Rita Marino for West Side Story. Anjanu Ellis for King Richard. Kirsten Dunst. Power of the Dog, and Dowd for Mass. This is probably one of the only places you're going to see Mass. I haven't seen, I, I haven't seen Mass yet. I've heard a lot about Mass. I've heard it's an amazing movie. Ariana DePot. Ariana DePosey. Uh, for The West Side Story. And Catriona Balfe for Belfast. Best Supporting Actor. 
Cody Smith McPhee, The Power of the Dog. J.K. Simmons for being the Ricardos. That's the first time I've heard that one. Uh, Jared Leto for House of Gucci. Troy Kotsor for Coda. Uh, Sharon Hines for Belfast. Jamie Dornan for Belfast. Best Actress. We're getting down to the wire, folks. We only got three more. Best Actress. Kristen Stewart for Spencer. Nicole Kidman. For being in Ricardo's, Elena Ham, Licorice Pizza, Lady Gaga, House of Gucci, Olivia Coleman, The House, no, The Lost Daughter, uh, and of course Jessica Chastain, The Eyes of Tammy Faye. Best Actor, no surprise that Nicolas Cage gets one for Pig, uh, but the critics loved Pig. Denzel Washington, The Tragedy of Macbeth, Will Smith, King Richard, Andrew Garfield, Tick Tick Boom, Cyrano, Peter Dinklage. Uh, Benedict Cumberbatch for The Power of the Dog and Nicolas Cage for Pig. Could he pick up this win? I don't know. I think it's going to Will Smith. Maybe Andrew Garfield, depending on how the critics feel about that category. And Best Picture, uh, we have 10 nominees here. We have West Side Story, Tick, Tick, Boom, The Power of the Dog, Nightmare Alley, Licorice Pizza, King Richard, Dune, Don't Look Up, Coda, and Belfast. What is this going to go to? What is this going to go to? I have no clue. I have no clue how I'm going to pick this. I'm not in Critics' Choice. But I am going to be doing predictions and votes. So, uh, I would... I think it's going to go to Belfast, maybe. Because critics did like Belfast. They didn't love it as much as other awards bodies do. They love it enough to give it nominations. But I don't think it's best picture worthy. And I'm going to go into... My review on that in the next video. Uh, so, I have no clue. I still need to see a couple of these films, and I will before the awards actually come out. I probably will not see something like uh, How House of Gucci, Mass, Come On, Come On, Liquor's Pizza, uh, and, of course, The Tragedy of Macbeth before the awards, so, and the Golden Globes and Critics' Choice Awards are on the same night at the same time, I don't know where the Golden Globes are going to be, uh, I think it could just be on their YouTube channel, maybe, uh, but the Critics' Choice Awards are on the CW and TNT January 9th at 8pm, and I will be watching those, and I will be doing predictions for those that week, so I will see all of you guys next time for my review of Belfast.